Prepare a .stl file and open it with Ultimaker Cura. You will find your design sitting on a virtual build plate in a 3D space. Move your view around by clicking and dragging with right click. At the top left, ensure the correct printer is chosen. We use Ultimaker S3 printers, but also have a 3. To add a printer for the first time, select Add Printer and then add a non-networked printer. Choose the correct printer from the list. Next, ensure Cura knows what kind of material you are using in each extruder. We almost always use generic PLA, but sometimes offer slightly different materials. To change the filament options, click the top bar and select from the respective drop-down menus. Our default is PLA filament with an AA 0.4 print core. To identify which materials a printer is using, click its screen here and note down the information. Now, to edit the properties of your print, use the tools on the left sidebar. Here you can resize, scale, rotate etc. At the bottom of this sidebar you will see the option to choose which extruder will print your chosen design. Double check which color material is loaded into numbers 1 and 2 then choose which you would prefer. The final toolbar in the top right corner is where you edit properties such as layer height and infill. Layer height is determined by the Profiles slider. We recommend a range of 0.15 to 0.2 although designs with fine details may require smaller. Keep in mind, the smaller the layer height, the longer your print will take to complete. Next is the infill slider. We recommend a range of 10 to 20%. Please ask for advice if you wish to use a higher range, as the higher the percentage of infill, the more material that gets used up and we would like to keep excess down to a minimum. Here you also have the option to turn on the support function. If your design has any overhanging elements, they may need supports. Otherwise they may try and fail to print in midair. For most prints, it is beneficial to print with an adhesion base. Tick this box. Once you're happy with your settings, click slice in the bottom right corner. Check how long your print will take and how much material it will use. If it is over 50 grams or 12 hours, either change your settings or have a chat with Makerspace staff. And there you go. The basics of preparing a 3D print. Now you're ready for the rest of your induction. See you soon.